All right, guys, so for our donut today, we're gonna use some, um, this dirty pink. This is gonna be for the base. And this is for our, uh, the blue one I'm gonna use is for the top. It's to <clears throat> decorate the donut. And for sprinkles, I'm gonna use some leftovers, what I have. In this case, I have a blue here. I have some red. And as many colors as you have, it should do. So if the hook I'm gonna use, it's number four. And we're gonna need a scissor and a needle to sew everything together. So get ready. And if you are, let's begin. Now, we're taking the base, whatever color you choose. It's really, it's your fantasy, it's limited by your fantasy. And we're doing 18 loops, so a chain of 18. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. And now what we're doing, we going back to the beginning and we have to join with the first loop. So find the first loop, which is gonna be in here. And we're doing one stitch. Now we crochet all around 18 stitches, one row without any changes, we're doing 18 stitches. All right guys, so I finished this 18 stitches. Now mark your row and we're gonna do three rows with increases. So we're gonna start with two stitches, one, two, and I increase. Increases two stitches in one. And like that we have to do six times. One, two, and increase. So two stitches in one. Like that up till the end of the row. Okay guys, so I finished this uh, row with increases. Now the next row with increases we're doing. Uh, we have, by the way, I'm always forgetting. If, if you want, you can count. We have 24 stitches. Now the next row we're doing is three stitches. One, two, and three. And increase, so two stitches in one. And like that we have to do five more times up till the end and you're gonna have 30 stitches okay guys so i finished this row now we have 30 stitches and we're doing one last row with increases which is gonna be four stitches one two three and the fourth one and increase we're doing so two stitches and one and like that we're doing up till the end of the row once you finish this four stitches and increase you have 36 stitches then you're doing two rows up without any changes so finishing this row with increases and after two rows up without any changes okay guys so i finished these two rows now the last stitch undo and you have two loops on your hook and we're gonna change the color in my case it's blue i don't know i choose blue just there is no no specific reason for that and we're gonna finish this stitch with the blue just like that now we have to do another two rows with the blue meanwhile these ends this uh, pink and blue you crochet in so you're doing first stitch and you're taking all these ends with you. This is to not get loose later. Just like that. You're taking all in. And this pink one you can cut already. 
we're not gonna need it anymore. So we're doing with blue two rows without any changes all the way around. So let's do these two rows up with blue. Okay guys, so I finished these two rows. Now we're gonna start with decreases. So mark a row and we're doing one, two, three, four stitches and one decrease. Decreases we're doing like that. We're taking first half of the stitch from the first stitch and the other half from the other stitch. And you're pulling the thread and you crochet them together. This is our decrease. And like that we have to do six times. So I'm gonna show you one more time. One, two, three, four. Now, first half of the stitch from the first stitch and the other half from the other stitch. And you're pulling the thread once, you have two loops on the hook and you crochet them together. And like that four more times. So four stitches decrease, four stitches decrease up till the end of the row. And you should have 30 stitches. Okay guys, finish this row with decreases. Now, next row we're doing three stitches and one decrease and like that six times. So it's one, two, three and decrease exactly same. First half of the stitch from the first, first stitch and the other half from the other stitch and we crochet them together and like that we're doing six times so three stitches decrease three stitches decrease up till the end of the row and you should have um, 30 stitches sorry i meant 24 stitches do not be confused okay guys so the last row with decreases this i finished by the way and i have um, 24 stitches now we're doing like that two stitches one two and decrease decreases once again exactly same first two halves of the stitches and we crochet them together and like that till the end of the row two stitches and decrease Uh, yeah, let's do it till the end of the row and then I'm gonna show you what next. Okay guys, so I finished these two stitches in decrease. Now what we're doing in the next stitch, we're doing a closing one. So you have two loops on the hook and this first loop you're pulling straight to the another. And you're doing one more loop. This is for, um, to keep it together. Now cut this end a bit long that should be enough more than okay, we cut this and we're gonna sew everything together i will show you how it's a bit difficult i think not as difficult but still so take this one out now fill this one up with filler with hollow fiber Just try to push to the sides more. So later we're gonna sew this. We're gonna do a hole here, just like that. And you're taking this to the sides. Go more sides until you can see your stitches here. go what is this end I know it looks difficult but it's not that difficult and here you have the other end so you know where to begin to be honest it's just a, a circle a circle so it's gonna be easy even whatever you want to start so what you're doing you're just taking the needle I have one of those I'm pulling this 
thread through and we have to crochet both sides together just like that so you're taking one stitch from here one from here and just sewing everything together so i think you're gonna be able to do it yourself when you will have left i will show you maybe but when you will have left um, a couple of stitches still to close this so just feel it good to be puffy and nice and then we're gonna do the sprinkles okay guys so you see i left here a small hole so i'm just gonna take this filler and try to push this on sides just like that as much as we will be able to do so you do the same just do as puffy as you can and then finish this sewing okay guys so this is how it looks my donut now take some leftovers or any different colors of yarn and what we're doing is just go under it's as easy as it can get i think so let's do just some sprinkles so we're doing like two stitches i think should be fine just like that and do them really random like that And do as many colors as you like. Uh, I will do that and then I will show you how it came out on my side. Okay guys, so I finished. This is how it looks so far. I think it's not bad. Now, we're gonna put this chain, which is this ring and this stuff. So usually I'm doing, um, just rolling this here somewhere, just finding and rolling and putting this in. So this stuff you can buy, I don't know, I bought from Amazon, I think for like two or three pound, it's not that much and it's quite a lot there. And I just did not many these keychains, but I did like two avocados, I think you can see on my channel there. And this donut is first, I was I tried to decide what to do and I decided why not donut. I like them, people like them. It might go well. So just like that. And this one, exactly the same. I'm gonna do right here. And put on a chain. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed guys this easy tutorial and if you did so please leave a comment uh, a like is gonna be helpful share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video